this video, I will show you how to boost FPS and fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 3. I'm going to show you how to drastically boost FPS in Fortnite using different optimizations, tweaks, and settings to get a maximum performance out of your computer. These will make sure that you are getting the best FPS and as low latency or input delay as possible on your machine while gaming. Also, these methods work for any other game that you might play as well, so feel free to use them even if you don't play Fortnite in particular. But before that, if you want to support my work, don't forget to leave a like on this video it will only take you guys a second and it would help me also so much and use code regnetic for further support on the channel and without any further ado let's get straight into today's video the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is disabling the full screen optimizations on our game launcher in order to do that just go to your start menu and search for this pc go ahead and open it up then go into the drive where you have installed your fortnite for me it's on my ssd and it's on the c drive program files then fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and once we are inside of here we just need to scroll down until we can find these four launcher files what you need to do is right click on each one of them go into properties then go into the compatibility tab then make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked click on change high dpi settings override high dpi scaling behavior and scaling perform by set this to application hit ok apply ok and i repeat the same process for all three of these as well Alright, so now that we have done that, we need to close out of this and that's it. That's how you can go ahead and disable full screen optimizations so that your game runs in exclusive full screen, giving you more FPS as well as lower input delay. So up next, you need to go ahead and download the Fortnite Optimization Pack 2022 Regnetic because it contains a lot of different tweaks and optimizations that we're going to be using in this video. You can download it from my website. The link can be found in the description down below by clicking on this thumbnail or you can go ahead and join my Discord server to download it without viewing any ads so once you have downloaded the pack just go ahead and extract it using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want and once the pack is extracted just go ahead and open it up open up this folder and we're gonna start off by batch tweaks inside of here the first one is the bcd edit tweaks which are basically gonna help you with the input delay so right click run it as administrator let it do its work so once that is done, just go ahead and right click on the clean temporary files, run it as administrator as well and then press any key to continue and this is going to go ahead and delete all of the temporary files from the temp folders. Once it has successfully deleted those files, just go ahead and press any key to continue and this will not only free up some space on your PC but also help you with the overall performance of your computer and make it more snappier. So once you are done with both of these, just go back into the pack, open up the registry tweaks and first of all go into hibernate in windows. Now inside of here, go ahead and apply the disable hibernate reg hit yes hit ok and this is going to go ahead and disable the hibernation option then go back into the pack go into the user account control enable or disable go ahead and use the disable user account control dot reg hit yes hit ok and now you will need to restart your pc in order for these regs to take effect so go ahead and do that and then follow along with me or you can even restart your pc after you are done applying all of these changes so go back into the pack once more double click on the exclusive full screen dot reg hit yes hit ok this is going to make sure that your game is running in the exclusive full screen which i even explained earlier will give you a lot more fps and a lot lower input delay then go ahead and use the fortnite normal priority dot reg yes okay and this is going to set the fortnite to normal priority now i know a lot of people play fortnite on high priority which in theory seems like to be the better option however normal priority has shown to give you guys more fps and just overall improve the feel of the game the reason for that is because other tasks also complete simultaneously so so that the CPU is not only focusing on Fortnite but other processes as well, completing them as soon as possible so that it can then focus on the game. Then there is the thread priorities dot thread, just go ahead and double click on that, hit yes, hit ok and now we are done with the registry optimizations. Go back into the pack, open up the Regnetic power plan, first of all go ahead and double click on the import power plan dot thread, hit yes, hit ok. Now you guys should see this little battery icon besides the recos powerplan.pow file but if you don't just go ahead and hit refresh and it should be there now so just go ahead and double click on it to import it and i have already imported it so i'm gonna go ahead and open up power options then go ahead and select the recos power plan and that's it now you can close out of this and now you have a much more optimized and much much better power plan running on your os providing you high performance then go back into the pack open up the windows settings and we're gonna go ahead and open up device manager first of all so once the 
process opens up what we need to do is go into the network adapter expand it down right click on your network driver properties go into power management and just make sure that this is all unchecked because we don't want any power saving on our network instead we want the best performance also if you guys want to know how you can get zero ping by optimizing your network then check out this video and the link can be found in the description of this video as well so go ahead and hit ok then what we're gonna do is go ahead into view devices by connection and then go into your usb drivers expand them down usb root hub properties power management and once again just make sure that these are unchecked hit ok do the same for the other one properties power management and just make sure that these are unchecked also if you guys want even more fps and reduce the input delay by disabling some of the devices inside of here then i will leave a link in the description of this video which tells you which devices you should disable in order to get better performance so make sure to check that out however inside of this video we are done with the device manager so close out of this open up the keyboard settings and just make sure that the repeat delay and repeat rate are both set to the right hand side hit apply hit ok open up the mouse settings go into pointer options scroll this all the way to the left then using the arrow keys on your keyboard slide it towards the right five times so that would be one two three four and five and that's it also if enhanced pointer precision is checked just make sure to uncheck this hit apply hit ok and now you have a better optimized mouse as well these steps are going to tremendously help you with mouse and keyboard input delay then open up the sound options go into communications and make sure that this is set to do nothing go into playback go into the settings of your default speaker go into properties then go into the special sound make sure that this is turned off then go into the advanced section just go ahead and uncheck this and set this to the cd quality hit apply hit ok hit ok once again and ok once again now you can close out of this pack and you can go ahead and even delete it if you want because you no longer require it and yeah that's basically it i will also link other useful guides that will actually help you with gaining more fps and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out also if you want to gain even more fps and reduce the input delay then click on this video right here or if you want zero ping then go ahead and click on this video right here